everybody back here again with our idiot's guide to flea marketing and today um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about um, some of the problems with it it's not all fun and games it's not all making lots of money it is right now four degrees out I take that back it just popped up to six degrees so it's six degrees outside right now I was down at the warehouse where there's no heat um, trying to organize my stuff get some things priced all that kind of stuff and I had four different pins with me that kept freezing. Um, I couldn't work them. I'd have them like inside my shirt pockets and stuff next to my body trying to keep them warm. And then I'd get them out and use them. I'd get one or two price tags written. They'd, the ink would freeze up on me again. So I kept rotating the pins through. Just a giant pain in the butt. Um, the problem with it is the fact that I'm setting up my booth at an indoor flea market for the first time. So I had to have a vendor number. I had to have all this other dumb little information on there that they require. I also had to have removable tags. So my price gun that I have that I love works great for my world, for outdoor flea markets, garage sales, that kind of stuff works great for that. It will not work for them because it looks like what they do is they peel your tag off, they put it in a big bag, and then like once a day or whatever the hell it is, they go through and they then enter all those numbers into the computer. So apparently they do not have um, a system set up with a computer program that will allow them just to punch the numbers in to the, like the point of sale system. So what I decided I had to do, I, I gave up, I was just, I couldn't handle it anymore. Um, I went ahead and I, as you can see I got a bunch of stuff in my van here. I packed up stuff which is going to make for double the work, actually probably triple the work. But I had to wrap up stuff that's breakable, pack it away, put it in the van. I'm going to haul it home and now I'm going to have to unwrap it again. Um, don't know if I'm going to do this in the garage or in the house, I don't know which, might do it in the house, who knows. But I got the uh, wood stove going in the garage, so it should be at least warm enough to keep my pins from freezing. Um, I've got to get somewhere I can have my pins warm enough to write all my tags out. So definitely the tags are going to be the biggest pain in the butt I'm finding right now. It's frozen ink. It makes it ten times worse. But even without that, it's still just a giant pain in the butt. It's one of those things where you're just constantly, you know, just makes no sense. I don't know why my price tag wouldn't work my price gun, but they seem to think it won't. So that's I got to play by their rules their house so anyway um that's kind of the headaches of it when you're out here doing this wonderful high class fancy world you end up wearing my over my uh, stocking cap which that's how i had been wearing it trying to stay warm like i said it's popped up to blistering six degrees today so i don't know it's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow but not by much and then of course friday when i'm hauling the stuff in, it's supposed to be warm there but that won't be that big a deal because I'm just hauling stuff from the van into the building, the building's heated. So it won't really help me much by being warm Friday, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So part of me had thought about just packing all the stuff up and taking it there and pricing why I'm there, but I've only got so many hours in that building and that's gonna be a pain in the ass and I'm already gonna have enough work setting my booth all up for the first time. So I definitely don't wanna have to you know, waste all that time trying to write out all the stuff. And if there's things I want to look up the pricing to make sure I've got it priced correctly, I can't do that there very easily. I mean, I have my iPad with me, but the um, cell signal there is not real strong. So it's going to be a slow connection where here I can just put them in a separate box, take them inside, look them all up. So anyway, um, just here to let you know a little bit of the pain in the ass that it is when it's freezing cold out. So if you can, when you buy your stuff, which now as if I keep this booth going, I'll be able to price the stuff as I get it in, which make life a whole lot easier for me. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you have a safe and wonderful day and happy hunting.